Good uh, morning, YouTubers. Let's see. No, it's afternoon already. Good afternoon, YouTubers. My name is Nubia. I am in recovery. I am reading out of our daily bread devotional, 60 day introductory edition. The bottom says, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. First Chronicles chapter 16, verses 34. Now, there's something about this devotionals. They have a topic index at the very end. So at the end of the booklet. So key here, <coughs> like trusting God. If I want to find a dev devotional day to trust in God, then I look at the pages right there. 2, 6, 42, 45, 49. But I am on day 7. Family. Eesh. All right. So I am reading out of our Daily Bread devotional, 60 day introductory ed edition all the way from Anoka, Minnesota. Today I am on day seven. Proverbs 22nd <clears throat> verses six and then 16 through 21. Start children off on the way they should go and even when they're old they will not turn from it. Proverbs 22 six. Discerning right paths. No one would have believed 16-year-old Brazilian skateboarder Felipe Gustavo would become one of the most legendary skateboarders on the planet. Gustavo's dad believed his son needed to pursue his dream in, of skating professionally, but they didn't have the money, so his dad sold their car and took his son to the renewed Tampa Am skating competition in Florida. No one had heard of Gustavo until he won and the victory capitulated him into an amazing career. Gustavo's dad had the capacity to see his son's heart and passion. When I become a father, Gustavo said, I just want to be like 5% of what my dad was for me. Proverbs describes the opportunity parents have to help their children discern the unique way God has crafted their hearts. Energy and personality, and then to direct and encourage them toward the path that reflects who God made them to be. Start children off the way they should go, the writer said. And even when they are old, they will not turn from it. We may not possess vast resources or profound knowledge. With God's wisdom and our attentive love, however, we can offer our kids and other children within our sphere of influence an immense gift. We can help them trust in God and discern the paths they can follow for a lifetime. Wink Collier. Well, this is, um, he's close to home, especially, thank you, Win, because I come from a dysfunctional family, to say the least. And oh, I guess I gotta talk about it. Part of my resentment towards my family is them not discerning me the right ways but you know what i'll take that back because my mom did my mom regardless of all this is functional the dysfunction that was going on she did lead me through the path of god she did have Jehovah Witnesses come in and teach me about the biblical stories when I was, I don't know, for two years before we left Cuba. Eleven and twelve, or twelve and thirteen, or nine. I remember being very young and the ladies coming to visit me. They came every every Tuesday. They came every Tuesday. In the afternoon after school and they came from far away and they took the bus and the Cuba public transportation is not like here you guys can you know have an idea which is 
looking up on YouTube or knowing it's a third world country. So the fact that these ladies came just to spread the word to a child was amazing. And that was, and my mom allowed that. So that's what I'm focusing on. I'm not focusing on the dysfunction. I'm focusing on the fact that my mom allowed God to work through her to introduce me to him. And that's all I have to say about that. Where have I encountered a parent attentive to their child's hurt or energy? I don't understand the question. A parent attentive. I don't even know what that means. I'm going to have to look it up. Attentive. When attentive is from attention. A parent attention. When a parent has had to give their attention to a child's heart. Oh, energy when have I encountered a parent attentive or a, um, intention or initia in, initiation or um, you know um, enticement or in, induce attentive to their child's heart or energy when have I encountered a parent attentive to their child's heart and energy? Okay, not talking about me. It's not talking about my mom. It's talking about when I have encountered it on somebody else. Okay, I uh, out of my head, right? It's not the world does not evolve around me. It's not all about me. <laughs> there you go. Hello. How when I have encountered? It, I am. Um, the first time I ever remember that, I was at Costco. And no, it wasn't Casco, it was another one. Because um, the parent had the child sitting on the, you know, on the cart where you put your, your toddler. And, um, and she had put the eggs in there. And I know it wasn't Casco because it was a, a little thing of a dozen, well, a dozen and a half of eggs. I think it was a dozen and a half uh, pack of eggs. And the baby looked at it and touched it and the parents are like yes you found the eggs those are the eggs so that's the first time i ever saw that i ever saw a parent talking to a child like that with that respect with that compassion and i felt awful because i was not i don't think i had my kids by that at that time anymore and I felt awful because I wasn't like that with my kids. I, wa I wanted to go back in time and be able to have that chance and do that for my kids and be able to talk to my children that way. So I felt horrible when I saw that. And then from there on, then I was noticing every single time I saw a parent, not just a mom, but a, a father and their children of any age and I saw them interacting I my eyes opened up my ears got tuned in and 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 I and I was even I wasn't looking at them but I was paying attention to them because of the way that you know the parents treat the children usually which is not the way I was treated and it's not the way I treated my children so When have I encountered a parent attentive to the child's heart of energy? I mean, in my family, I didn't see that either from my aunts doing that to the children because, that, like I said, the dysfunction was, it's over, to say dysfunction, it's to say it's overrated because it was more than just dysfunction. So, last time I encountered that, I see it all the time in church. I see it all the time in church. And it still hurts me that I was not able to be like that with my kids. The way that normal, normal people are with their kids. And I see it at church and I don't know why I sit there and watch it. Because I know why. 
it's peaceful. It's peaceful to see an interaction, a normal interaction between parents and kids, you know, toddlers. And because I see God in it, because I see, especially because it's at church. So I see God in it, and um, that's, that's why I see Darren. And I pray that God, you know, bring something good out of that because that's what he does and he will if he hasn't already which he has he has he's he has because he's amazing he does what he does you know how has God revealed his attentive ways to me God has revealed his attentive ways to me by showing me he's there for me, showing up. Because now I am able to see myself through his lenses, like his child, the way I was supposed to always see me. God has shown his attentive way to me because he died for me, by dying for my sins. And by showing me that he cares for me. And that he's paying attention to me and that he's listening to me right now. And he's watching me right now. And I love you, God. Thank you. Thank you for being there for me always. And being there for everybody else, you're always there for. Heavenly Father, as I consider how good parents pay attention to their children, I know you're the truest parent. Thank you for seeing me and guiding me amen thank you so much god thank you guys for tuning in that was a little emotional but those were healing tears and those were not good tears i need to cry more of that with that thought i always cry with god in god's hands in god's embrace in god's arms so those were healing tears love you god Thank you everybody for tuning in and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you all tomorrow.